space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Fauci, her ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life forms and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. So we left off last week. We were in the brig and <laughs> where we belong. <laughs> yes, uh, we. I actually we're gonna do like a little bit of a reversal. We backed up a little bit. Obviously, I added some furniture to this room and changed some things around. Um, but um, we left off with uh, Doctor Jaya talking to or trying to communicate with uh, Desaro, in which he eventually cut off communications by turning himself invisible. So we are going to back up before he turns himself invisible. So, you know, because we're going to change the scene just a little bit. There's something I kind of forgotten about, and I was like, oh, yeah, I was going to do that. So, yeah, oh, whoops. <laughs> like, Oopsie doodles. Damn it, Jim. All right. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. So here we are back in the, uh, the break the Dr. Jaya and the DeSero you guys are all witnessing this as well you're you're there along Dr. with the Kev, Angel, Eridani, Rivia and Valto and Q so he was making a big deal about the inhibitor that I have yes the scanning inhibitor that he he is he's gesturing towards it and he's like asking you to hand it back to him well no why do you want it so badly? Yeah, why is it so important to you? He basically is like, that belongs to me. He can speak now? In, in a rough, rough common speech, in rough uh, English pattern, I guess. Cool, might belong to you, but if we give that back to you, how do we What's know you're not going to try to kill us if we give this back to you? He just hisses at you. <laughs> uh... That's not a response. With or without it, I will kill you anyway. That's not an incentive to give us to have us give this back. Would it be a jackass move to hiss back and ask who gave it to him? I mean, speaking it, you're speaking in his own language. That at that point, in my uh, opinion, for all I know, I could be shouting "kumquat" and not know. So, <laughs> your mom is a hamster. <laughs> what I... does this device do? He hisses back at you uh, again, and he says, Quaka Saj, Kwe. You got a hairball up your ass? <laughs> so does our universal translator not translate that? Yeah, what does our universal translator say? And at that point in time, he does disappear. He does, your universal translator well, does not translate it, no. Scaly puppy disappeared! That's... Th I'm going to point to... That's not a puppy. Nathan Chen puppy. <laughs> Scale. Scales. That was not a puppy. Not a puppy. This is puppy. I point to Nathan Chen. Nathan Chen puppy. Yes. Good you job, Angel. Captain. It goes, Captain, I don't... I, I I really don't like like this thing on board. Who said that? Q does. You'll be she, all right. she does not like this thing on board, and she's like, I do recommend that we get it back to uh, get back to the space station as quick as possible. What? I thought we already had given the order, and it was going to take an hour and a half to get there. Yeah. Yeah, but we just kind of backed up a little bit, so. So we ha are still not moving? We're still not moving, so that order was not <sighs> given. Okay, so plot the course. Move. Okay, um, I tap my comm badge. Captain to the bridge. Set course for the starbase. Maximum warp. Maximum effort. Also, bridge, please contact the space station and let them know that we are coming. And maybe they could send out a ship to meet us partway. Get there. Yes. Um, that is har heavily armored ship. 
to get, meet us part get way. The preparations ready. Yes, what Eridani just said, Brid. Is Scaly Puppy still there? I don't know. Is <laughs> is Nathan Chen still drinking espresso? Um, he seems to be a little bit more relaxed. You, you have, uh, I guess, detector, if you will, inside of him. But not only that, he is also, he still is like, you can see that he is uh, completely focused to the inside of the the brig. And he is releasing a low mechanical growl. Does the growl translate to fuck you? Now, Nathan Chan is essentially like a bag of holding, right? Yes. What happens if we put the thing in Nathan Chen? Oh, you can't put organic stuff in a bag of holding, can no, you? No, 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 not the, not the Decero, the, <laughs> the <bottom. laughs> It's like, yes, we're going to shove the Decero up the dog's ass. Right? <laughs> what did you want to put in? The inhibitor. Also, the words that were spoken, because if he's a subspecies of Klingon, maybe we should get our newly acquired Klingon into here and see if I thought he wasn't a subspecies of Klingon, since that was the argument we made last time. But he was a subspecies. It's more or less they have, like, how do I put it? It's more or less they've, they have attempted to splice DNA and failed. Okay. But they might have some linguistic roots that the Gog might be able to understand. Maybe. Re re Ravana like, like agrees, like goes. You might be actually onto something. And at this point in time, Doctor J, uh, you are kind of what, like, kind of intrigued by uh, Klingon, a new Klingon acquisition. <laughs> I must become one with the Klingon, my child. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if the Klingon turned down Lieutenant Ardani. <laughs> I'm not making that kind of a proposition. <laughs> that does not mean Eridani's not going to try again. <laughs> oh my god, Eridani season one Julian Bashir. <laughs> oh lord Jesus. So I'm in I'm intrigued by Klingon technology. What else is happening now? No, not Klingon technology, but a new acquisition. She said that they brought okay. in somebody. I am not a. I am not an acquisition. <laughs> I am not an acquisition. A new member to the crew. What in the so Ferengi they're... bullshit? <laughs> Captain, I would recommend inviting our new Klingon security officer up here to this conversation. Captain of God. Uh, yes, Captain. I'd like you to join you, join us in this uh, brig to talk about this thing. Yes, Captain. Thing. <laughs> Sorry, this bridge. We got this. Come out of the brig. We got shit it's to not... show you. It's <laughs> not ominous at all. It's on an open comm channel. How how dehumanizing. Hey, fuckhead, get in here. <laughs> the situation we'd like you thing. like your expertise on. <laughs> like, hey, chip with the ripples, get your ass down here. <laughs> Ridges are nice and shiny and buff. <laughs> Crunchy. Anyway, it comes back that she's like still in the middle of orientation. They are working their way down. Um, <laughs> they're out in the hallway. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Slide to the right. I'm going to walk out here and be like, hey, over here. <laughs> she's just walking around in circles like, ooh, ah. Uh. Ooh, shiny! Okay, I shiny. still like your ridges, but we do need you in this room over here. Oh, okay. Can you follow me? Yes, I can. I'm not physically incapable of doing so. While Eridani goes out in the hall, Jaya's <laughs> gonna look closer at the inhibitor and, like, really study it. This is cool and all, but <laughs> this is the room over here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's gonna put her out in the other hallway again. You can you can follow my nice jiggly ass in <laughs> I actually had to mute myself because I laughed so hard I started coughing. Follow my jiggly ass. That's your quote for season two. Okay, so Lieutenant no. Aradani kind of, of now like, is those twerks. sheeps with the really big butts. <laughs> Lieutenant Aradani basically twerks into the brig. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Yeah. 
Um, it's like she's doing Shin Chan's ass dance to get <laughs> God to get into the room. Okay, Warrior Nagog, here is the situation. We have a Dicero in the bridge. We have the Dicero's wristband that somehow controls something for it. It wants it back, and, and now it's taking its ball and going home and turned itself invisible. It spoke some words that I recorded on my translator, and we'll have them play back for you. But we think that, at least we hope, that because it's a subspecies of Klingon, that maybe you might be able to recognize some root words, so... I can certainly try. If Amy? The, uh, out of character, Amy? Spell it for me, I've got the translator up. <laughs> I recorded that. The oh, DM's cool. gonna have to say it back again. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, please spell it. Okay. Oh! I don't like those noises. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably telling us where we can what Dig we the... can do with ourselves. Or um, my mother has a smooth forehead. Either one. <laughs> it essentially very, very loosely translated it seems to be a, a slightly bastardized form of klingon it loosely translates to good pets so i think possibly he's either intoxicated or it's a dialect or it's a very odd dialect of klingon well we know he works for emily scott so is he a pet of emily scott like he he won't do anything to that will like she's ordered him not to speak in that sense well, you've got about, like, two-thirds of it right. Look, I'm using Bing tra Klingon to English translator, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. So, I I'm it translated it as just, is it, like, essentially, I'm a good pet? It's, like, three words, or actually, it's about four, four words with, you know, there's, like, three-word groups. So, it's, like, Koka, which is good. Saj is pet. And Kai? And Kai is the last bird. Okay, hold on. Let me do 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 do. Oh! Yeah, he said that he said good pets and then he made a gesture implying we should do something to ourselves that may or may not be physiologically impo physiologically impossible. Mm. Love that. <clears throat> so he basically told us to go fuck ourselves. Yeah, I backed it up in quite essentially translated in the Bing translator to use the middle finger. I don't understand. He does. What does that mean? He's not going to work with us or it... answer any of our questions. He's that's a pretty mean, much where that's though. going. <laughs> that's where that's going. <laughs> it means he doesn't like us. But I thought good pets. Aren't we good? I... We are pat, good. Pat, pat. Just pat her on top of the head. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Things that sound unintentionally wrong, but aren't. Maybe he wants a pet. Are We're you... not dropping that shield to, to, to uh, test that theory, Angel, unfortunately. She doesn't have the clearance to anyway. That would be very ill-advised. Hey, Bridge, how much longer till we get to the starbase? We are still... Still about a good hour out. What speed are we going? Max warp. Oh, great. We're all going to turn into Janeway and Paris's slug babies. <laughs> we're, going warp 10, we're going warp 9.99 .9 or whatever. 9.99 for people. Because nothing's 100%. I mean, so I that when I said maximum warp, we're actually going about the maximum rated speed, right? I've said I'm looking at this thing, like, closely. Do I notice anything about it? What the fuck it does? I'm not pushing any buttons, but I'm just looking at it. You're just looking at it. Intensely. Intensely. Like, I have not even acknowledged that Nagad's in here. I'm not sure what we do. I think we just wait until we get to the starbase. Captain, what do you want to do? Well, everyone who was fixing uh, the android, Angel, I believe her name is, uh, over here, this Klingon is Nagad. Jaya finally looks up. <laughs> She's going to be the exchange officer aboard this ship for the time being. Don't everyone welcome her at once. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My Hello. name is A-N-G-3-1. You may call me Angel. 
an android. Nice. Wait, I recognize this android. You were the one that- on your ship. I am glad to see that you are functional again. Thank you. She was not treated honorably. No, I was not. Our captain's a patak. God bless you. <laughs> God fucking damn it. That okay. was gold. That was comedy gold right there. I love you. Because the Dicero is in this room, I think that anything that may be classified information concerning Angel should not be spoken about in this room. So oh. it does not overhear. Yeah, fair. fair. Shall we move on to a different room? I would like to see the rest of the ship. Can we get some security guards in this room? Yeah, can we get a whole battalion of security <laughs> guards in this room? Stop like, shoving your face full of one? taco, guy, and get to the fucking brig! Hmm. Is it gonna stay, like, here? <laughs> If Jaya is here with the, the thing, or is the second she leaves, is it going to go batshit crazy? Um, I mean, he is behind that force wall. There's nothing he... there's He can't really do anything behind that force wall. So I can't just, like, one leg uh, in, one leg out, go, I'm in, no, I'm out, no, I'm in, no, I'm out, and just to see what he does. Oh, damn it. <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> yeah, he can basically turn himself invisible, turn himself visible again. But he, th there's no way he's leaving where he's at. No. Okay. So I guess we could go out in the hallway then. Yeah, maybe we should just at least go out in the hallway. Do we know how good its hearing is? Is Q staying behind just to chill out with it? Yeah, Q okay. will stay. She, she's volunt She's not taking her eyes off that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, cool. that's fair. She, she is actually taking first shift as a security guard. She's got her phaser loaded for her. <laughs> Or kill. She's like she's not. She's like sitting at that. She's around. sitting at that desk with the phaser pointed towards the force field, just waiting. This her phaser is rated Y for you. <laughs> Drinking like ten Red Bulls so she doesn't fall asleep. Don't know why I can pick up other characters, but yeah, I can't pick okay. up the other four. But I can pick up three. <laughs> Who can you pick up yourself? I picked up Angel and Ravana, and also Valto. But Valto, I can always pick up because oh, Zask and I share the same move account. Me if you want, I don't mind. I was just trying to get us out of earshot yeah. of the Dicero. Well, I mean, the we God could if would Q... kindly follow us. Here. So if Q's gonna stay there, I guess we go back to engineering and and work on Angel. Does that sound like a plan, Captain? Yes. Are there any no. problems with the android? I mean, you guys do have an hour, hour to spare to work on things. Um, I think we should also examine that um, device that Cat has of the Dicero's. Yeah, I want to know more about that, too. I'm concerned it might have a homing signal in it. You <laughs> still have it in your hand there? Yeah, I'm still holding the damn thing. Um, give me a perception check. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Hey, She's got x-ray vision. <laughs> yeah, um, it looks like to be almost like a braided metal that is, uh, uh, like intertwined with one another with uh, uh, various nodules going off the side. You're telling All me she them... rolled, a... I was going to say, she rolled a 20 and and she could see something that she could see with her own eyes. <laughs> That's all she could see. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a dirty 20, but still. Eh. Yeah. Um, like I said, she could see that there's like, there's nodules on it that um, some of them, like it's a series of five. Two of the nodules on it are lit. Almost like almost in like an LED LED fashion kind of deal. Okay, can we hook that up to an isolated system and run some tests on it? Maybe. Maybe. Figure out what it is and what it does. Yeah. We yeah. should. Because the Dicero is not going to tell us shit. It. I think we need to analyze this thing first before we fix Angel again. Can't two things happen at the same time? If we go to engineering, we work on both problems at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Probably should not hook them up together. 
Well, yeah, that wouldn't be as... isolated thing. Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah, that's not the <laughs> smartest idea we've ever a had. Short Circuit Angel by... Or input! Electric shock simulator. <laughs> She's probably gonna go, that tickles! <laughs> bad <laughs> touch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't touch me there. This is my no no square. No, no, don't touch me there. That is my no no square. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to do your, like, your greeting now, you can do your greeting now. I mean, your introduction now. Okay. At, a, at any point in time. I mean, it was... And then God looks up and notices, looks up from the from staring at the little band thing and realizes who's holding it and a big smile appears on her face and she throws her arms out and goes, MURDER! And runs and hugs Jaya. Aggressively hugging. Oh, can't, can't, sorry! Can't my, breathe! My old, sorry, my old friend! <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I have these kind of hugs? I like this. <laughs> I, I love how this on. is I love how that's the takeaway <laughs> Our minds aren't exactly known for being murder hobos <laughs> <laughs> Bajorans kill any Cle or kill any Cardassian on sight or at least that's how they uh, play themselves up to the Klingons mm -hmm. yeah well nice to see you again friend as I'm just, like, clutching my chest, trying to catch my breath from that aggressive hug. Are you hurt, Jaya? I, I think I'm okay. I just I just need to catch my breath. Um, give I me a... I thought to run into an old friend. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, Dr. Jaya, give me a quick strength check. Oh, Jesus Christ. Then God broke Lamy! <laughs> you take six bludgeoning damage for some reason. Probably broke a couple ribs. Probably. You take more damage when it when the rabbit bites you in the nuts. A strength check, you said? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Very nice. Yeah, so you didn't lose uh you didn't lose your grip on the on the bracelet, on the device. Yay. I love how that's what you were checking for not to see how badly I broke her ribs. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Nagad and go, do you know anything about this? Just holding it up. It does not look familiar. It, it well, I look... guess we all do. Do you want to do a check on it, uh, Najad? Uh, do a what check? Do a check on the perception check on the bracelet. See if you recognize it at all. Oh god, this is gonna be disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> do? <laughs> <laughs> this thing has buttons! Shiny! <laughs> Okay, this is a long shot here, but uh, would Angel recognize it on any chance that it might be in her memory bank? I highly doubt it. Um, yeah, you can give it a shot. Perception? Yeah. You know something about this. <laughs> yeah, she recognizes it. She totally recognizes it. She knows this shit. Jaya, I think I know what that is. What is it? Good pet. Blow on top. Blow on top? That's what she said? Excuse me? One's top. <laughs> I'm missing the S there. Oh, durr. Are Good you telling- Blow one's top. Are you telling me top from bottom right now? As soon as she says that, it starts spewing smoke. A lot of smoke. Uh, uh, uh is the, is the, is Angel trying to warn us that that is about to explode? Um, it's, yeah, as soon as she says it, it starts spewing out smoke, like really thick acidic smoke, and, you know, you guys are uh, popping. I think the transporter room needs to lock on the signal of that and beam it out into space. Um, before you can do, the emergency, emergency protocols kick in. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. We're stuck here with it. Light starts, like, basically all the light starts, uh, oh, stroking no. out towards... The outer hall of. Uh, this is why I wanted to go to engineering and not be near the Dicero. Don't we have some sort of ventilation system to suck up this air? You do have a ventilation system. It does start pulling it out, starts dissipating. In the process, you know, it it is ventilating the 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 smoke. You guys can go and uh, start seeing your feet, your hands in front of your face. 
all whatnot, it's it's starting to pass away and dissipate. Um, you, some of you are still coughing yet. <laughs> but in the process, um, you hear also at the same time oh, the, no. uh, security doors open and close. From the brig? From the brig. Oh, god damn it. Everyone get your weapons out. Nothing can get past the level 10 force field. But if it flickered the, the power... If the emergency protocol system engages, it disables the force field oh, so mother. that all people, all personnel can escape, even those who are prisoners. Why, we were trying to get to engineering. It is not the android's fault. Well, this thing is now loose on the ship. It wants that item right there. I think we should beam that item into space. Transporter room, beam the object into space. It should be approximately, how far is it from us? Someone put it on the ground and... Put it on the ground, put their comm badge on it, and just immediately... Yeah. Beam it out into space. Wait, we can use it! For what? I believe it has multiple functions. Well, it what wants it. What does this have? Can we use it to track... Okay, okay. Transporter room. Beam it back into the brig. Angel, can we use this thing to track the Desero? Possibly. How many espresso shots did Nathan Chen have? Um, like I said, you ended up disabling him after you brought him back onto the ship. So he doesn't have that ability to go back over to the medical bay and re-equip him. I think we should put that device into the brig and put the force field up around it to keep the Desero from that item. While they go back to the medical bay and reactivate that section of Nathan, Nathan Chan. Yeah. And keep your weapons handy. Shouldn't we be on red alert? That would be a good idea, too. Would it be red alert or security alert? Security alert. Um, intruder alert. Bridge, we have an intruder alert. A being that can turn invisible and is extremely dangerous. Bridge okay. alert noises. Bridge I think we should also yes. go back into... The brig and check on Q. That's actually a really solid idea. I'm going back in, in there. Is she still okay? Who? Q? Yes. Watch her be fucking She dead. is knocked out. She's knocked out. Okay. Oh, no. -y. Uh, I think we should put that device in the brig behind the, the, the force field. Wait. So who has it? Jaya. I thought I was... Okay, well, somebody... Hey, I'll hand it... Hand it... Said... I'll hand it over to Aridani then. Angel said we could use it to track. This yes, but it also thing. wants the item. So it's until we can find activated. it, it's what voice activated by who? By whoever has it. Whoever it comes in contact with can activate it. <gasps> oh, so that was my fault. The smoke went off. Great. No, it is called Good Pet. It has a name. Oh, <gasps> this is Good Pet. Yes, that is good pets. I remember them using it, but I don't remember all the commands. It's how they keep them in check, I guess? I know it has multiple functions. Can it track? Uh, I mean, you can, you can a, a, attempt to track, but you're going to have to give the commands, but you got to figure out what the commands are yeah. and figure out which language they are in. What did she say previously? Bef now she's not holding it, so it shouldn't activate it, right? What did she say previously that caused the smoke? Wasn't holding it before either. I think it, she said, "Blow its top." Okay. So maybe do not say that. Yes. He said, "Now that they have you have it set, that you know, it's like it's good pet blow one's top." There is one command that is translated in English from this dialect of Klingon. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So, in theoretically, on paper, you can like set your translator to that that dialect of Klingon. Okay, why don't we do that? So now you got your universal translator translated to that dialect of Klingon. Now, what do you want to do? Find the Desero. And God comes comes walking in. I have an idea. All ears. Angel said it could be used to track them. I say we should test that because clearly it whatever the hell that was, is not in the immediate area. And I and I think it might at least be a, be a start, because we don't know where it, is, where it is. It might be behind us, as in another hallway, but at least we'll know which way to go. 
to try to lure it. Can I, like, do some smelling salts on Q to wake her up? Yeah, you can totally wake her up. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to wake her up. All right. Um, yeah. yeah, we should definitely wake Q up first. Yeah, Q gets up. And she's like, the son of a bitch has got to jump on me. What the hell happened? I know the force field went down, and I didn't see anything. The next thing you know, I was kissing the desk. <laughs> Well, our newly acquired android accidentally triggered something off of this device that interrupted the pl- the power. And now we're trying to figure out how to use said device to track it. She's like, kind of like, I, I'm, my head's a little bit still swimming yet. I'm, it, it, it got me good. Um, Do you know to go to sick bay? Yeah, maybe you should go take a nap in the well, mid bay. Maybe Jaya should take the dog back down to sick bay to reactivate him yeah and take you down there yeah okay who has the device you do i do okay yeah yeah i they handed it to, you. it to you yeah well, this is hot potato so i'm gonna walk over to our captain here and give him the device <laughs> <laughs> hot potato <laughs> hot potato <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Do you remember any other phrases that your neural net wouldn't describe as explosive or damaging that might be associated with this bracelet here? Uh, you can roll for it. Okay. What do I roll? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's try. We're going to do a wisdom. 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 Okay, who do you want? Do you want uh, Angel to do that or? Yeah. Not bad. Uh, some of the words that you you can remember come to you. Um, one is stomach, and another one is uh, nagging. I suggest we take Eridani's advice and put this around a force field so we don't accidentally voice activate the stupid thing again. Yes, good idea. If that was Eridani's idea. It was. I put the device on the bed there. I come back out and I immediately say to put up a level 10 force field. Okay, you want a level 10 force field. Yes. How is the D Zero supposed to get? Well, it's not supposed to get to it. Right. Level 10 means it can't get out unless. Why did a smiling it? lava pit just appear in the middle of the room? <laughs> I was wondering that. Ooh. All right. I, I do think Jay I should take Q and yeah. the dog down the sick bay. Yes. I'd like to have an escort with me since Q's head isn't all the way there. Why don't you take Valto? Or Ravana. Either or. Yeah, I'll take Ravana or... Yeah, I'll take yeah, Ravana. Ravana, yeah. All right. I'm good with that. As you start uh, heading towards the door, you hear that over the... Uh, intercom that uh, intruder alert has been cancelled. Excuse me? Tapped into the bridge. Uh, report. Yes, report. Why has the intruder alert been cancelled? Sir? The Dicero's fucking with us. That little bastard. I, I don't understand. I is suggest the bridge be on. Alert, is the intruder alert still active throughout the ship? Because it's No, sir. We just cancelled it. Why did you cancel it? Per your order, sir. Oh. Reestablish. Reestablish. And use command codes. Authorize command codes from now on. The D throw clearly can mimic voices. Voices, too, yeah. Copy that, sir. Challenge command codes activated. At that point in time, also, uh, intruder alert status is also reactivated. Okay, Bridge, how far from the space station are we? My, yeah, ne- my, my next question would have been, did... The cap, quote unquote, the captain allegedly like walk into the bridge, or was it just a vocal command? Like, can the Dees Road disguise okay, one, themselves? One as thing somebody? at a time. I want to know how far from Starbase we are. That okay, wasn't you are yet. um actually a half hour from Starbase. Okay, and then Cat's question is, how w- was the bridge given a um, the stand down order? Yeah. Like, was it a vocal command, or did the cat, the quote-unquote captain allegedly, like, walk into the bridge? Um, it, it, the captain was here, standing in front of me. Yep. Oh, oh God. That's, okay, oh. that was not the captain. 
be aware that the Dizero can also cloak himself as other people. Great, now we have imposter games going on. <laughs> Eridani and the entire crew. In intruder alert, pair up. If you see someone without a buddy, escort them immediately to the brig. Yeah, nobody works alone. Fucker can't can't be two people at once. Like well, goddamn changeling. Prisoner zero. So it can't be two people at once. Okay. Um, Are we within communications range of the uh... starbase? Yeah. Are you in communications range of the starbase? Uh, yes. Are they sending a ship to meet us halfway or something like Eridani requested? Uh, yeah. Shouldn't we be halfway by now? I mean, you're like halfway there to your destination. Um, but shouldn't the crew that the ship that th they dispatched now also they, be they, halfway? They're in a runabout. They're about. Oh, Christ. A runabout. Oh, okay. That'll be oh, fine. love that for them. Hmm. We we need to advise the ship that's meeting us halfway or whatever the hell it's doing that this is going on, and that they should also be on guard. That's, that would be my suggestion. Yeah. Um. Are there communications terminals down here that would be able to contact other ships? Is there any uh communication terminals around there that you can talk to other ships? Right. Yes. Means that these could have done back it back and too. forth from the brig all the time. Oh, for... ah. Fuck's sake! Wait, what? That means that these could have contacted somebody as well. Mm, so Emily Scott is probably on her way. Mm hmm. Who is this Emily Scott? That seems to be the mastermind. Someone that you're likely going to have to face in honorable battle. Ah. Her methods might not be as honorable as your own, however. Ah, oh, epitach. God bless you. God damn it. <laughs> Jaya's just gonna do one of these kind of, like, facepalm things and just not correct Angel at all. I think splitting our party up at this point would be a bad idea. Oh, uh, yeah, that that is a... That is... What the fuck is that? Yeah, I was just wondering what the who fuck the are these things. Who are you people? <laughs> Then there's Who other people, people on the starship. They're moving together in two by two is like you're requested, so... I'm sorry, but that one that you brought in first looked like he's on fucking crack. What is wrong with his eyes? <laughs> he looks like, like, really, he, looks really like is, he has seen some shit. The, works. the longer you look at him, the worse he gets. <laughs> he has you seen know some shit. He has seen some shit. He stared into the void, and the void touched him where he beams. They both looked like they had the soul sucked out of them. They touched by no no square. Like his mouth. They touched by no no square. That's what actually, most people don't know this, but that's what actually happens when you stare into the void. Instead of staring back, it touches your nose. Oh god, the voices! The voices! <laughs> the horror! The horror! My eyes! Literally. <laughs> She, she's like, I got put, like partnered up with this asshole, <laughs> and I really want to push his ass out of your airlock. But fuck, it's fuck like, it's this seems like the guy that knows what a caterpillar fart would smell like. Yeah. <laughs> and he wishes he didn't. He wishes he didn't, but he knows. I'm like Damn this one. Look him. at this one. This is Starfleet Karen, if there ever was one. <laughs> Can I she speak? wants to talk to the manager. She, she can't let you. She wants to talk <laughs> to the captain. His name is he's Ensign to Karen. <laughs> Ensign to Karen. All right, is Captain. Your... I now I'm suggesting we go get that device, and we're at the move as a group back down to the medical bay. Uh, what if there's a reason that they are all converging on Brig? Well, I mean, if well, we're I mean, they're doing guard. sweeps looking for the intruder. Yeah, I mean, I did. Uh, say we need security to the brig. I'm gonna go out with Valto and ask them for a status report. Crewman, I want a status report. We ain't found, found shit! shit. <laughs> <laughs> Carry I on. Was like, yeah. <laughs> that was a space ball quote, huh? Can I get... <laughs> ja was... Okay, Jaya's gonna walk out with Q and Ravana, <laughs> and she's gonna come and look at this guy in the face and go... Ugh. 
Have you tried looking in the latrine? <laughs> Do you use your toilet as a mirror, sir? <laughs> okay. God damn it. Kev, Kev, I recommend getting that device back. Because we're all going to have to go merrily down to the medical bay. <sighs> I'm gonna need medical bay in a minute, I swear. Okay, Because so we I need turn... the dog reactivated. Yeah, we need to... Q needs to not have her head be swimming, and we need to Can reactivate... Can we put the device in, in the dog, since dog is bag of holding, and I assume has some sort of protective... The gamma shield. ...built in. The gamma shields, the yeah. The bort of holding. Okay, so I lower the force field, get the device, and then... Take it over to put it in in the dog's ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm rolling for Q for a hot second. <laughs> Grab the little desk. No, not the desk. Not the desk. Q's like, I'm gonna take this desk with me. Yeah, my apparently desk. I'm taking the desk. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this motherfucker <laughs> got away from me. <laughs> she holds it's the desk. It's wobbly. B3 desk. Q, Q is gonna be so yeah. mad that the Dicero got out and knocked her out. She's just gonna go yeet. So you're gonna take it. So you guys are gonna put the put the bracelet in the dog, right? Yeah. Assuming that the dog has some sort of shielding. Yeah, he's got the gamma shields, doesn't he? Uh, Jay does. She, he's technically your dog, so I'm gonna make you do the check. Jaya does the check, or Nathan T Chen does the check? Jaya's gonna do the check. What kind of check is Jaya doing? Just give me a perception check. Okay, hold on. Dave, you give me another 20. I got half um, that. Yeah, you're gonna be, like, petting a, petting a, a mechanical dog. And uh, kind of, like, uh, kind of forgetting, like, uh, certain... Forgetting certain things. Um, oh no, uh, isn't the virus in there? No, the virus, she took the yeah. virus out when she came back to that's what you're going to go get is to grab the virus, put it back into the dog. I didn't know I took the virus out. Okay, yeah, I don't remember her taking the virus out. Who's got Ravana? She, me, yeah, okay, uh, get maybe she could pass a perception check, give it a whirl. Oh, okay, <laughs> no, never mind. All right. What about Angel? Angel might have a, a I was second gonna... sense over this. Uh, yeah, she was standing close. <laughs> oh, too bad Takev wasn't the one. Well, Takev was the one putting it in there, so she and Takev also have a... Oh, yeah, a... Takev's technically holding it now. But no, he was... I'm talking about who was standing next to the dog while you guys were talking to the D-Zero. Um... Oh, well, fuck, that was like... An hour ago, Jimmy, you want us to remember that? Yes. That was an hour ago, and we killed brain cells laughing since that. Well, I would remember. <laughs> you would remember because you did get a day team, and you were standing next to the dog. You noticed that the dog was growling, even while the Dicero was cloaked. So the dog's not growling anymore. So he's not. The dog's nearby. not growling anymore. Correct. So that means the Dicero is not around. But don't we also have to get Q to, or is she okay. fine now? Yeah, no, doesn't Q go to the, go to the medical bay? Yeah, Q's head yes. is swimming. But the dog's not growling now, so you know. So we don't have to just use the virus, right, to, to track the damn thing. Okay, did I at least lock the thing in some kind of like gamma shielded thing so <laughs> nobody can get to the virus? Yeah, pretty much. It's locked in the dog. It's next to a to get into. Okay, okay let's, up let's, make, let's, let's list our, our, our problems and prioritize them at the moment. Dicero is loose. Q is needing medical attention. Dog doesn't need to go to sick bay now. Ship may be possibly commanded by the Dicero. Um, yeah, that's not good. I, I am recommending going to the bridge and taking back control of the ship as fi first priority. Yeah, as long as we do it in pairs or a group. Now, I does Jaya have a med kit on her? Yeah. Can she give some, like, temporary medical attention to Q? Yeah, I mean, yeah, she could totally take care of... Like, uh, slap a band-aid on that, give her some analgesic... Just go like that. Oh, okay, hold on. You know, the whole nine yards. Give yeah, her you'll be alright. Yeah, walk it off. There you go. Put walk some Robitussin on it! <laughs> alright. 
Did you try turning it on and off again? <laughs> it's like the dad on my that big factory gliding. Put some Windex on it. Rub it. Rub it. Put some dirt in it. <laughs> As a group, I think we should move to the bridge with our phasers out. Yeah. I'm holding my oh, Klingon why? disruptor. Fuck that. I'm going to kill this or, thing or at this whatever, point. Whatever weapon out. Then God but, uh, menacingly uh, holds her bat left. Yeah, Takev is holding a Federation Type 2. What is that, a rifle? Now, to Kev, this is my suggested plan of attack. Do you agree as captain? Today is a good day for the DeSero to die. To go to the bridge. Yes. Okay, who is first? Who is second? I mean, Angel could just go waltzing in there. She wouldn't know any better. da 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 Okay, meat shield here and meat shield too. <laughs> the ones that look like they've seen too much from the void. They can go first. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we'll make them go first. The red shirts. The red yes, shirts. The two red shirts that are standing here next to us. The traumatized red shirts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We can leave Starfleet Karen and her partner here. You're gonna leave them there. Yeah, we're gonna take uh but these two the scene some shit crew. Okay, the meat shields go first. I think meat Q... Meat shields go first, huh? Q... Well, I guess Q's technically I think, okay I right think, now. I um, think people going last should also be some of our tank gear people, so I would suggest Nagag and Ravana. Going last? Okay. Yeah, so if they get attacked by, from behind. Nagag. And then it doesn't yeah. really matter in between. I guess I'm going to be in the middle somewhere with my dog. Yeah. So, like, myself and... And Kev, as leadership, probably should be up front. All right. Can can we move these two? Ravana in the back with Nagog. Angel can go in front of the shiny puppy. Shiny puppy. So you want these two out of the way. Shiny well, we want them front. We want them right here. Yeah, we want them front and center. They're leading us there. And then Q could be behind Jaya and Nagag. Nagog. Sorry. Um, Nagog. <laughs> That's her nickname now. Nagag. I don't make the Nag rules. Nagog. Nagog can get me next to Ravana. Her name is about as unpronounceable as my real name is unspellable for people. You know, the problem is we have an odd number of people if we include the dog. Eh, does the dog take up that much space, though? I mean, Nagog could carry Nathan Chen on our sh could carry Nathan Chen. Well, if Nathan Chen has the, the device in it, Nathan Chen needs to be in the middle. Yeah. Uh, he's staying in the middle. I mean, he can stay in the middle. Yeah, can we move Q behind Nathan Chen? Yeah, he's working on it. Okay. Okay. Alright. So y'all jump on, uh, I guess, uh, the tubes or whatever. Whee! And, and we lost Q. <laughs> we lost Q and Ravana no longer has... Yeah. Apparently, to Kev is walking backwards. <laughs> walking. So is the is the bridge unmanned right now? No, there's like there's a few people here and there that are and as soon as you come walk you get to the room there I mean you can see that they have weapons drawn. Report. Uh what is your challenge code? Where do I find that? Designation U R M O M <laughs> <laughs> But is that something pre-given, or is that something I just make just up make on the fly? Up. Just make it up. <laughs> just make it up, make it sound good. All right, Aridani, Delta, Delta, Gamma, 69. <laughs> nice! <laughs> then God just goes, nice. <laughs> we all give Aridani an approving nod. They're like, basically, okay, uh, they're like, all right, standing down, the bridge is yours. Report, where, how... How far away from the star base are we? Um, we have roughly ten minutes out of rendezvous point. Please tell me you didn't just—I didn't just hear rendezvous poop instead of view. <laughs> <laughs> please tell me I don't have shit in my ears. Jaya, uh, please perceive your dog and determine whether your dog is growling or not. I look at my dog. Is he growling? Uh, he doesn't appear to be growling at the moment. No. Okay. All right. Captain, my suggestion, I don't know what voodoo we need to do, but we should knock out everybody on the lower decks and seal off this deck. Do the hoodoo that you do like best. Like anesthetized gas, whatever it is, knock out, you know, 
Is the Deesro susceptible to that? I mean, we kept trying to knock him the fuck out and he wouldn't go to sleep. At the very least, we need to seal off this deck. Yeah, we need to. Yes. Um, seal off this deck with force fields at entry points onto this, uh, onto the bridge. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. He's running over there to hit onto that, that turbo lift. This Going one by walks himself? over and takes care of this yeah. turbo lift. This one takes over to that turbo lift down there. That should steal off the bridge. I do well, believe I mean, that Data was able to do it on his own by asking the computer to do it. Yeah, Valto should take a station. I'm going to go back over to comms. Your station's over here. All right, the two that have seen some shit should go guard a door or something. I forgot Q. Q's not in here. Q should take her station if she's able. Do you want the dog in your seat, Iridani? She, she just basically, she, I mean, she's technically suffering from a concussion. Do you want her to fly? That's uh, probably not a <laughs> Probably idea. not the smartest idea. Ravana, do you have any experience flying a, a starship? I don't know. Does she? Uh, yeah, I'm assuming, yeah, she probably does. And the GOG station's okay, up here. So I cannot move Ravana on. Uh, that's another technical difficulty, I guess. Angel, in the time that you, we've spent, can you try to remember any other words? Okay. Am I just going to be holding flashcards and we're going to do like a word session? <laughs> <laughs> word association. <laughs> word association. Puppy. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> apparently. We should have a roster of everyone on the ship, right? Or mm. everyone who's supposed to be on the ship. Yes. Can we do internal uh, sensors? Oh, yeah, because it's not wearing that thing, so it can't hide from sensors anymore. Can we basically scan the entire ship and filter out anyone who's not supposed to be there? So maybe we also want to make sure that the expected number of people are showing up, too. Yeah. And, like, possibly maybe try and locate see if we can lock on to where the Dicero is. Yeah, that's why we exclude the known life signs. Yeah, what the captain said. Because obviously the Dicero isn't on our roster and is not expected to be on the ship. So, theoretically, if we filter out everyone who's supposed to be on the ship, the remainder would be the two people that we just brought on and the Dicero. Wouldn't that be the con officer that does that? So to get us there, he's, you are there, you're... You slam your fist on the thing going, where the fuck is it? Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, what you is are this? pulling up a rather large roster and I mean, it. you are basically can track every person on each deck, but it is a definitely a daunting task. Can we scan for life signs and find one that doesn't match what should be on this ship? I mean, you're going to be like going through every life sign on the ship. Yeah, it is a computer. It can do that kind of stuff. I mean, well, this is this isn't is the gone. 1930s. This is the 23 somethings. I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, how isn't the uh... Enterprise computer immediately able to tell you where an intruder is. Our computer should probably be able to. I mean, you're 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 fumbling around it like you're just so close to it. What am I missing? I don't know. If we can scan to weed out anyone who's not supposed to be there, scan for any anomalous life signs. Anom yeah. That would be pretty close to what you're at, what you're looking for. You're looking for, you're like looking life for sign. a life sign that is never been registered before, never been looked at before. Because up to this point, it has been like a rumor, a figment of an imagination, yeah. like a, a an anomalous life sign. Yes. Yeah, someone who's not supposed to be on the ship. 
it wouldn't come up as something that wasn't supposed to be on the ship. It would come up as unknown. Unknown. Well, yeah, but yeah, for unknown life signs, then. But still, if you, the way I was thinking about it was, if you scan the ship for life signs, compare the life signs that are expected to be on the ship with the ones that are found, that you should be able to point. You should be determine which one's the Dicero in disguise. Where the anomalous life form is. I think we're coming to the same yeah. conclusion. Jimmy's just splitting hairs with us. Does my xenobiology scan tell us anything? So your xenobiology scan finds the anomaly in deck 15. Okay. Uh, Captain, the anomaly appears to be in deck 15. Okay. What is on de deck 15? Deck 15, there would be living quarters. Oh. Uh, you're going to have like two or three... Or you're going to have a ready room down there. There's also or a uh, basically a briefing, another briefing room. And then there's also a cafeteria. Okay, I have a question. What deck are our living quarters on? It would depend upon where you're, like, your rank or... Well, I mean, we all sleep in the city, like... Are any of our li living quarters on deck 15? Yeah. She's asking. No. Okay. Because okay. I was... feel off that desk, deck... That's what, what I would force suggest. fields up at yeah, every yeah. junction. Yeah, seal that deck. Every section, force field. How many other life signs are on that deck? 27. Can we transporter lock on all of the other ones that are not the anomalous and beam them off onto a different deck? Yes, but the life sign that you are coming across as anomalous now registers as a normal human. Oh, it can shift. All right. I mean, don't, it don't did. Don't transport. Yeah, d yeah, just, I would, everybody gets small in your holes, that's what she said. <laughs> her, her. But, like. She located it on it, it It had already cloaked itself as to Kev. And came we on know the. what section of Deck 15? Yeah. Um, who was scanning, who, JL, you were the one that was looking at the xenobiology, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was down in the living quarters. There, you had it. Kind of like there with uh, um, with eight other individuals, so it's <laughs> socializing. Yeah, it's in mingling with so like funny. eight other individuals. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, what do you do for your nails on a Saturday? <laughs> seal off that deck. Seal off that section. Yeah, that would be my suggestion. We might have a possible possible hostage situation. There's here. an imposter. There's an imposter among us. Mm -hmm. Can we beam everyone from that section directly to the brig? The brig, Put yeah. Up a level ten force field. <laughs> There's just going to be a mass casualty event. Do you want to send eight individuals to the brig? <laughs> Nine. Well, we got two brigs. We got two brigs. You can split them up. Be less people get murdered. <laughs> just parade Nathan Chen around the brig. All right, where is he, boy? Say, could we take the dog for a walk? Uh, yeah, that this was slowly turning into the railroad car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just parade Nathan Chen around. All right, where is he, boy? Well, if you split them up, so in one in the D rows with four people, <laughs> then it's four is better than eight. Four. So there's eight of them, right? Four and four. Well. Plus the Dicero. Oh, yeah. And the Dicero could look How like... How many brigs do we have? Just the two? Just the two. Just the two. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I love how Amy got an idea after you said that. Because we know he's not affected by an SSI stat gas. Oh, yeah. But the crew people would be. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're so... just going to make them all lactate. <laughs> Nope, we're gonna we're gonna knock them hey. all out, and then he'll still be the one standing, and then we transport him back to the brig. Oh yeah, put them all in one cell, anesthetizing gas. And no, then... no, no, they're still in one section of the ship. They're, oh. they're still on deck fifteen. Flood <laughs> that with anesthetized gas, so all of the crew, regular crew, is gonna drop like flies, and then the one that's still standing is the Dicero, and transport that one to the brig. Okay, yeah, I like that idea. Good idea. Jim, that is a good idea. Put that section with an anesthetized gas. On it. Whatever works best on humanoids. Okay. And then 
transporter room needs to transport whatever is still on its feet. I just flood deck 15 with marijuana smoke. <laughs> you just nerve gassed all you <laughs> Because I got high. Because oh, I got high. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> we're we're uh, gassing uh, deck 15, whatever section the Disro is in. We're not killing them. We're just knocking them out. <laughs> They're taking just a for their safety. They're taking a nice Starfleet nap. You are knocking. Okay, so you got them all knocked out. <laughs> now, whatever's still standing is getting transported over to the brig is there anything level 10 field is there anything still standing there is nothing still standing <laughs> oh dear so he can cloak himself and like get the biology of or whatever he's, he's cl cloaked at and... okay beam four to one brig beam four <laughs> to one <laughs> well, exactly my, now, my next suggestion was going to be to go take Nathan and Chen down to the brig Beam them over one by one. If one comes, Nathan Chen doesn't growl, beam him back, and then beam the other one, and then, you know, just rotate <laughs> through them. <laughs> you get beamed, and you get beamed, and everybody's just, oh, God, hey, you guys. Get beamed. Jimmy hates me. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm listening to this, and then I'm like thinking, uh, how much, like, yeah, those poor people. I'm thinking about these poor people. <laughs> they're like, they're so confused. They're like, oh shit, we're locked in our rooms. Oh my god, we're being gassed. Why should my, they not know? I mean, they my like, be, upper command is gassing They should us. be unconscious. They're like scratching at doors. And they're like, oh, and then like passing out. Maybe that's the shit this guy saw. <laughs> <laughs> He can see the future, and the future is gassy. This is not the, uh, you know, a normal day for Starfleet. I mean, come on. Our <laughs> admiral's gonna look at us when we get back to the starbase and go, "What the fuck is wrong with you people?" <laughs> look, can we erect? Wanna... Can we erect a level ten force field on the bridge? I thought that's what we, I assumed. That's what was happening. I've seen that happen in episodes before. Well, yeah, we closed off the bridge, put force fields up. No, no, no. What I'm saying is put a, a containment field on the bridge, beam an individual into it, see if the dog growls, and then beam it back. For something. I'm oh, aiming my the, Klingon disruptor at the, the fucking thing. Until you get the Dicero, and then beam it to the brig. <laughs> Unless you all want to just walk down to deck 15. Not especially. Or do you want to just beam them all to the to the the brig and four of them might die <laughs> brig party i mean it's a sacrifice worthy of starfleet so it's an honorable it would be an, you sign up it's an honorable, an honorable death. death we'll send oh, their family some taco a, we'll send their family some taco is, god it'll be okay for a sacrifice i'm willing to make <laughs> <laughs> all right the remaining individuals one by one to the bridge and immediately erect a level 10 force field around said individual. So we'll have to get the dog down there, right? Well, no, if we're beaming him to the bridge. Oh, bridge. I'm, I thought he said brig. So I would assume uh, it's uh, like I, somewhere I up here. I, I meant to say bridge if I... Yeah, elect, okay. uh, uh, erect a, a level 10 force field on, in the bridge, like in a section of the bridge, like a containment field. I see. Mm -hmm. And then uh, beam erect. a person into it. If the dog doesn't growl, then beam them back. Erect a level 10 force field on the bridge. Bridge. Beam one person to that. If the dog does not react to them, beam that person to the lower brig. And then in case that d can somehow get, cannot, does not activate the dog, at least they'll all be in one brig. Oh, so they can all die together. That's so yes, sweet. It'll just be like you know, backup plan. I see dead people. Oh, oh God, not again. Not again. <laughs> Vietnam flashbacks. Unless we want to Unless dying. we want to all go down to the brig and we just beam them all into the brig. I mean, that seems like the direction he wants to go. Who? You. I'm, I, I, I am, at this point in time, I'm just a passenger in this. <laughs> I, I am laughing at 
Like I said, I, I, I everything. Everything. My totally I am here like thinking like, oh God, you know, this this so many war crimes. <laughs> so many. No. I don't see it as a war crime to anesthetize. Like you're not We're not, definitely ending you're not up killing in this... them. You are just knocking them out. And We're trying to save ears. their lives, not kill them. We're gonna end up in a Starfleet history book for we this. Send yeah, the gas for the wrong reasons. There. For the wrong reasons. Do we like the containment field on the bridge idea? Because I Yes. I like I like that idea. That's a that's a smart idea. Yes. Beam the Make, the containment field. Make like a containment field like up here or something. Yes. Yeah. Move the All dog right. closer. Deploy the Nathan you. Chen. <laughs> All right. Beam. You, you could do it in pairs even. Beam two people in there if it growls. It's one of the two people. Yeah. That'll cut down on the time of doing the beaming, I guess. And cut down the number two, of four, the six, of time eight. Span getting That's the four groups of two. Okay. We have, we have Rebecca. <laughs> Well, it needs to go in, yeah. Rebecca and her roommate, Evelyn. They're roommates! Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> They're lesbians, Harold! <laughs> <laughs> now I got the- now- I don't know how my brain jumped to lemon stealing whores from that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might be, we don't know their lives. <laughs> Damn lemon stealing horse. I, I can't. I gotta. <laughs> I want to note that while Jay is standing behind Nathan Chen, she has her hand on her Klingon disruptor. Because at this point, we have Nagad, and she clearly doesn't give a fuck that we have it. Yeah, pretty much. So, this is just my suggestion. If the gr dog does growl, immediately transport them into separate brigs. That's a good idea. Yeah. That way so we have no hostage situation. Yeah, and we can. But we could also transport the fucker back up to the bridge and just hold him there because we're only ten minutes out from the space station. Or do you want to keep him in the brig? Are we within? Should we let them the starbase know if we're in range that the Desaro got loose on our ship? I think we should. I mean, Probably. that's at the, yeah, that's at the discretion of the captain. Yeah, you beat these two up. You check out the dog. The dog's no longer is not growling. Beam them back and beam two more. Yeah, beam yeah. beam them somewhere else separate from where they just came from. Yeah. Are the Klingons still in the cargo bay? No. No, they They're left a while ago. Okay, can we put some shielding up in the cargo bay and just put them in the cargo bay? Yeah, good idea. You're, you're putting them in the cargo bay. So they, they went to sleep in their bunks. <laughs> <laughs> or, they're, they're gonna wake up on cold hard steel ground going what the fuck just happened you know they're starfleet they will understand we are taking precautions they're gonna be like checking to make sure that their zippers are up they don't have zippers they're gonna check to make sure their no no square is where it belongs they don't have their entire ass missing they weren't sleeping before we put them to sleep, temporarily. Oh, you. great. We're, we are going to help. We're running around euthanizing the crew. No, not that. Not <laughs> euthanizing. I'm euthanizing and killing sleep. them. Da, 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 da. Before we knocked them out, they were chatting <laughs> like normal crewmen off duty. Uh-huh. So they weren't snug in their bunks or whatever. <laughs> snug in their bunks in hopes that St. Barn would soon be there. So they're, they're just going to basically wake up in cargo. Yes. Like, what the fuck? The floor, like, go, what the hell happened? Yep. What are these part of the There's cargo? like a gap of missing time in their memory. Yep. We're Starfleet. Weird is part of the job. Yep. <laughs> And apparently right. Jay is so just gonna do one of these and like rub her eyes with her finger and her thumb and just go, Why did I come here? <laughs> and here's Gary. Oh, sorry. Seth and Gary. <laughs> They're God also it, roommates. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> but God damn it, Gary. Is this like a parade of making fun of the crew? <laughs> Everybody Gary, point like, and laugh have, at like, the two crewmen behind you uh, as you guys are like totally <laughs> <laughs> just staring at them like a fucking parade, like a zoo. Seven, okay, seven, they Gary they wake like up in off for a 
fight. They wake up in this force field on the bridge and they're just looking at everybody. And they're looking at Ensign Maxine some shit. And they're just like, oh Karen. god, is this how I die? Is the god growling? Is, yeah, is he growling? <laughs> is he growling? No, he's not growling. Alright, back to the cargo hold with them. <laughs> Next two. Cargo hold. To the cargo hold. <laughs> god fucking damn it. We'll send them a welcome reception gift. We'll make sure taco there's some God. taco God waiting for, for them. <laughs> all right, who sure, are these ass? Toilets to the to the cargo. <laughs> nah, they'll be all right. All right, who are these assholes? All right, is the gra- dog growling? No, dog's not growling. Cargo bay. Cargo bay. <laughs> How many more do we have? Two, I think. I lost count. We did six. You did six. You got. So there's three more. Three more. All right, two more tries. Bring on the next contestant to. <laughs> she tried to... Welcome to the next con- <laughs> contestant of look like a dumbass. Are right. these all humans? All right, who are these two? Is the dog growling? No. <laughs> Cargo hole. We don't even need their names. Just go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Is the dog it's growling? Who the fuck is that? Who gave Johnny Sack on this? It's shit. Trevor fucking Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he doing here? It looks like you, Brunner, and John Sack. Are okay, both. why do we? <laughs> now we like Ron, though. Now we know that one's on meth. <laughs> why do we suddenly have two or people Wade. when we were only supposed to be beaming up one? I thought there was only supposed to be one left. That's what. That's who Ensign McSeen some shit saw. <laughs> <laughs> Is the dog growling? Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll go with that. The dog is growling. All right, send them, send them to each to one different brig and put up a level 10 force field. And then we're going to go, I'm assuming we're going down to the brig. Going back down. To the brig. La, 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 la. Find out which one of these two. Computer, accept commands from me alone with my security code. Or isolate all command functions to my voice print and my security code. Okay. I feel like I should do a computer voice for this ship. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. We go to upper bridge for brig first or lower brig? Let's go lower first. Yeah, lower I mean, we haven't been to that one in a while. <laughs> you missed lower this part brig. of the ship. <laughs> we haven't been there in a while. <laughs> Angel's never been here, so... Uh, it's just like I remember it. Alright, somebody better be walking in with me besides my dog. I'll go um, with you. Like How about we send Ensign McSeen He feels like shit. he's a part of this now. <laughs> <laughs> Ensign McSeen <laughs> some shit is our meat... Ensign, I... Ensign McSeen some shit is Ensign Mc... meat shield. I think we Ensign should send... Bob McSeen some shit. I think we should send Ensign McSeen some shit and his partner up to guard the other brig. Unless he's just part of the know. party now. He's the party pet. <laughs> Ensign McSeen some shit is the party pet. <laughs> I wish I could that put... That funny in here. Does, is the dog growling? The dog is growling. Okay, so it's not Trevor Phillips. The Kev, can you call the bridge and ask them how far out from the base station we are? Bridge? This is the captain. Uh, three, um, command code. Can a captain have more than one command code? Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't say your command code in front of the DSRO. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go out in the hallway and do this? <laughs> yeah, get out of earshot. This is the captain. Mm-hmm. Um, authorization Avil Thathil Hire Alpha 314 Omega 217. 271. Um, how far are we away from the rendezvous point? Uh, we have uh, we have the runabout on screen at this moment. They are hailing us. How far from the star base are we? We are still still five minutes out from docking. All right, I'm going back out. Well, hold on, we need to confer with the captain here. Should we just hold him until we get to the star base? That might be a good idea. Just have the runabout ex- escort us. Yes, um, Bridge, uh, please, what do they say, to move the call down here? Transfer? Oh, well, okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that is what they say, don't they? Yeah, transfer it to the station. Transfer the, the, uh, 
hail from the runabout to this station, please. Because we, we have, we have, we have a, a console right here, and should be able to patch it through here. Totally patch it through out there. Oh, I mean, or it, out there, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. The cloud is still here. <laughs> the fart cloud. The fart cloud. The butterfly <laughs> fart cloud. Caterpillar fart cloud. Well, they might have grown up by now. Out of their fart crystals. Butterfly fart cloud. <laughs> if they fart while they're in chrysalis form, is that essentially a um, Dutch oven kind oh of situation? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right about, this is the USS Fauci. Greetings, uh, USS Fauci. This is a runabout. We're requesting that you accompany us back to the starbase because we'd rather just give the the thing directly to the starbase. Copy that. Orders are to escort you back to the starbase. Thank you. All right, so we're about five minutes away. Yeah, why don't you tell Karen McSeen some shit here? Um, <laughs> Karen, Karen McSeen oh, some shit. Karen. I thought he was Bob McSeen some shit. I, I don't know. Whoever this is. This He's just McSeen some Karen. shit. Lieutenant Karen here. So just tell the bridge that once we arrive at Star Starbase to relay it down to Karen here and Karen to come in the brig and just as use a code word or something to indicate that we are here at the Starbase. Butter. Uh <laughs> yeah, just just come in and say butter. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then we'll know that we are at the starbase. Does that like a plan? Yes. All right. Bridge, did you copy that? Yeah, copy copy that. Karen, did you copy that? Yeah, uh yes. Uh as soon as we hit the starbase, I am to walk <laughs> over to you and tell you butter. Yes. You do not sound like you're in this at all right now. Are you okay? Remember, Karen's seen some shit. Jimmy, I hope we don't hit the starbase. Are Jimmy? Are you okay? I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just. And we're going to be docking with starbase, not hitting it. <laughs> hitting it would mean we have a very poor pilot on the ship. This isn't Starfield. <laughs> You're not kamikaze this. Why is she running away? We run! <laughs> Karen, she you get back you. up your, your console. She, she's like, what? Is, is she okay? She's like, can I go pee? I <laughs> no! <laughs> no! You hold it for the next five minutes. Put a diaper on. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> what the hell? Please. You're stronger than that. <laughs> what happened what to wearing spacesuits that you can pee in? <laughs> so you stay right there. <laughs> or I'll come you... visit your cabin tonight and you won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> she just brings the whip out like you've been a bad or girl. Will she? Dun dun dun. She brings no, she just she visits the cabin, stares, farts dominantly, and leaves. <laughs> she brings the whip out like you've been a bad girl. Alright, Ensign McSeen some shit. You stay and you wait with Karen here. Make sure oh, Karen does her job. Like, Damn it, I was just hoping to sneak right on by her, but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and you! Aerodonia! You you so manager! <laughs> <laughs> what is no, he doing out of the. You keep him in the bridge. <laughs> Jaya hears a commotion and walks out going, what the fuck is happening? It's just some discipline. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now you, I told you to come down here and watch these two too. What the fuck? Do you want me to come to your cabin? Jaya just looks at Q with a what the fuck look. What is this person's name? What is your designation? <laughs> 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 Oh, Ma'am? <laughs> Johnny, cool down. <laughs> I got my eyes on you. The fuck did <laughs> I do? Here. No, it's them. Oh. Bad discipline around here. Anyways, Dicero. Does the Dicero have a name? Jimmy, does the Dicero I mean, have a did name? You, I mean, like, did you guys care to ask? Or... <laughs> Not all until right. now. All right, you. What is your name? We're, we're done with all these games. 
he basically he 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 tells you that he was never given any de designation. What do they call you? Surely oh. someone has to refer to you as something. You're just not gonna be. Hey, you! They call him the uh, the assassin of kings. What was your current mission? To weaken the 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 fleet's hold on this region. What was your specific mission? Get into uh, the starbase. Who were you trying to kill or impersonate? Like, it doesn't matter which target, just any target to get uh, uh, to weaken the starbase. Who do you work for? He's like, I never reveal who uh, who I pay, who pays me. Do you even know who you work for? Says, yes. Should you... Emily Scott. She is one of many associates that I report to. One. Uh, what is her current location? He has no idea where she's at. Is he lying? No way of knowing. Can we tell if he's being deceptive? Let how many? Know. How many of your kind are there? As far as he knows, he's the only one. Where did you come from? <laughs> he, like, really doesn't know. Was he created by someone? As far as he knows, the only thing he knows was he was, uh, he was in the mines of Kronos as a slave before he realized that he could hide. Then once he knew he was, like, as soon as they discovered that he was able to hide, he was uh, whisked away. So he wasn't operated or augmented or anything. This is a natural evolution. Should we ask him what the purpose of that bracelet is? You know, that was going to be my next question. What does this device of yours do? What does it do? He says that is his pet. And what is the function of your pet? He says it, it does everything I want it to do. Who gave it to you? It was like his teachers, his masters. And they are... The one with, uh, the ones with chains and the ones with whips. What race are they, I guess? Like, the one, uh, the ones that changed me was, uh, uh, was Klingon warriors. So whoever holds the chain or the whip is your master? Yes. Okay. Doesn't that... matter if they're Klingon or not? That's correct. Okay, so well. If, so if one of us were to have a whip... You would consider us oh, your master? Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, shoot me is... now. I'm going to go play in traffic. Asking is... this for a sexual thing. You guys know what. Well, no, I didn't right know. Now. That's not where I was going. I know exactly where you're going with this. My oh no was because she's going to try and become this thing's master. No. Oh, Christ. Oh. No, I'm, I'm trying to intimidate him. Oh, okay. But thank you for making me articulate my plan out loud. Yeah. Yes, he, he's like, the ones that hold the whips and the one that holds the gauge or the chains are are my masters. Maybe I'm we trying get... to decide whether it's in, whether if I should just flourish the whip or keep it a secret. At this point in time, the door opens up, the ensign comes in and goes, butter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ensign. You can now go relieve yourself, but take a buddy with you.